My name is Tim Hartman, I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Boston Market, and I want to introduce a few other important folks who are here with us tonight from our operations team. Uh, Bob Gerard, right here. Hello, everybody. Hey, Bob. Hi, Bob is the Director of Operations, so he runs all the restaurants in the New York City area. And then Donna Langford, right over here, Donna's an area manager. Uh, runs restaurants in uh, Staten Island, the world of New Jersey. And so they're both ops experts and will be able to help us uh, uh, explain things to you tonight. So I'm sure you all have some familiarity with the Boston market is, but as a little quick background, we've been around since 1985. So over 30 years, we've been in business with a focus on serving food that families feel really good about putting on the table. And as you're probably aware, our signature item is our rotisserie chicken. Was in 1985, still is today, still the thing we're proudest of. And we have a commitment to selling the highest quality, best tasting rotisserie chicken. And last year, we took a step forward with that. We made a guarantee. We called it our rotisserie chicken guarantee, where we said, promise to our guests and customers, we will serve the highest quality chicken. And to us, that means all natural, fresh, never frozen, no antibiotics, no added hormones or steroids, no MSG, gluten free. U.S. raised, so a long list, but you can tell we're really committed to it. We really want to serve our customers the best. As we built on that heritage of rotisserie chicken, we really become rotisserie experts. So we also cook our turkey in the rotisserie oven. And last year, we introduced the first vegetable, our rotisserie potatoes, which have been a big hit with our consumers as well. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit more about some new exciting rotisserie items that we're going to show to you. And as part of that introduction, we're actually making a change to our logo. If you look down on the top of your sheet, you might notice something a little different. It still looks the same visually, but in the center we're saying rotisserie kitchen. We're doing that for a couple reasons. One is, it is really the best descriptor of what happens in our kitchen. The rotisserie is the heart of what we do every day in our restaurants. And it also is when we talk to our customers and our guests, they tell us that that is what differentiates, that's what makes us so different. And they love the idea of rotisserie. To them, rotisserie sounds like the food is going to be juicy and tender and succulent because it's slowly roasting, the juices are dripping. And it also says the food is going to be natural and healthy because we're cooking it over an open flame. The same way people have been cooking food for thousands of years. We've just refined it and made it better and better over time. So that's a big change for us. And tonight we're going to take another step forward. So we always are asking our guests what other kinds of food do you want to from us cooked in the rotisserie. And it, probably not a shocker, but when we do that, the thing that always comes back at the top of the list is give us some rotisserie beef. That sounds great. So red meat cooking over that slow flame would be tremendous. And so tonight we're very excited to introduce to you our first offering there, which is going to be rotisserie prime rib. You can see the beautiful pictures up there. So we will be selling rotisserie prime rib all across the country uh, right now. Every Sunday and Wednesday night after 5 p.m. And then next week we're actually going to add Fridays as well. So three nights a week you'll be able to come in and get rotisserie prime rib. It's a great value. We certainly will get a chance to taste it in a minute here, but it's a, a generous portion. We, we cut it in restaurants, so the, the ounce weight varies a little bit, but it's about a half a pound. You get an eight ounce serving, your choice of two sides and cornbread, all for $15.99, or in some markets, even a little bit less. So it's a really great value. We'll, we'll share it with you here in a minute and let you uh, get a taste of it. We've been, we started testing this item last year, back in June, in one restaurant in Denver. So we've been slowly rolling it out across the country. It's kind of like we cook rotisserie product. Slowly rolling it out, getting it right. Our operations team has really been fine-tuning how we prepare it. And now we're at the point where we're ready to introduce it nationally and really start telling people about this great product that we have uh, in the restaurant. The way it is prepared and cooked is, is very simple in a sense. We start with USDA choice beef, so it's a really high quality cut of beef, very flavorful, well marbled, 
we season it with our proprietary seasoning and then we slow roast it. It takes over an hour to cook in the rotisserie. Then when it comes out, we actually hold it in a temperature controlled environment for about two hours. And the juices can really evenly distribute and get that great flavor. So it's an excellent product. We're excited for you to taste it and enjoy it. And thanks for coming out. So I think we're ready now to uh, give it a try. So if you're all ready. Complex full body wines that also can age really well. But the secret here, again, is in the soil. So going back to that idea that the, the land, the place, makes the wine. It's a uh, concept called terroir. And here the soil is volcanic. So the volcanic ash let, uh, allows the roots to kind of dig down and get extra nutrients, and it helps them get access to water easier. Um, the soil is poor, and you actually want that for vines and for growing grapes because unlike people who don't produce their best work when they struggle, uh, grape vines actually do. They tend to make uh, grapes that have more complexity when they have to work harder. So this will be the wine, um, higher acid and also some tannin, but it'll be the more sort of lighter and rustic of the two reds that we have. If you want to try them both, feel free. One of the classic hallmarks of Italian reds Kind of like a rose petal and tar so you'll get that some i got some strawberry notes but also like smoky roasted meat so what better pairing for prime rib than a, you know, a wine that's coming from smoked earth you know literally volcanic uh, so i think i encourage you to try and try the alianico also you get to try it at home i believe uh, there's the goodie bag so um that is one option or maybe i